Hey guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. By now, with my surroundings, you would have guessed where I am. Yes, guys, I am in Ajinkya D Y Patil University in Pune. First of all, thank you so much for all the love that you've given to my Vaisam School of Technology's campus tour video. I'm glad that you guys loved the whole idea that Nishant was pitching to you guys about. At the same time, loved the vibe on the campus, the hostel tour, all of that. Now I know in that video, I missed out on some very important aspects, and you students also had some very valid doubts. Kavish, we are. Will the campus be ready by the time we join? What about the scholarships? Can you tell us how we can crack the interview? What is the whole admission process? Which degree will we get? Don't worry, guys. I will cover each and everything in this particular video itself. Firstly, I am here to take the progress report and see how much of the campus is ready. At the same time, I will also, at the end of the video, tell you my particular pros and cons, which, to be honest, are going to be very important. I will be very honest with you and I tell you why you should join Vedam School of Technology and why you should not join Vedam School of Technology. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Let's go. Holy moly! Wow, this is insane. First of all, guys, welcome to the reception area of Vedam School of Technology. And to be honest, this is amazing. You might be thinking I'm over exaggerating, but trust me, guys, I am not. As you would have seen in my previous video, nothing like this existed. In fact, Nishan told me, "Kavit, you ja ke dek. We've made so many changes, and I'm so happy with that. Uh, love the signage here. Learn tech by building it, which is exactly the motto with which you students should be joining Vedam School of Technology. I'm in love with the color combinations. Whosoever has done it, the combination of orange and purple is fab. Again, this also answers the question a lot of you people had." That bhaiya, will the campus be ready by the time we join? Guys, with this space, I'm 100% sure it'll be fully, fully ready. Because if this is how the reception looks, I'm super excited to see what all other things are there in store. So let's go check it out. Hello, welcome to another area which is ready on the campus, and this is the counseling room here at Vedam School of Technology. This also looks amazing, just like the reception area did. By the way, guys, another signage, code from. Day one. I don't need to explain it. You guys know it. It's very important. By the way, guys, this is the common area of the counseling room, and they also have the individual counseling room. So let me give you a tour of that as well. So this is how the individual counseling rooms look like. They have two such rooms. By the way, so many of you students were asking me, "Kavish, where should we do the counseling online or offline?" See, guys, it is completely up to you. You have to online करनी, online करो, offline करनी, offline करो. That's completely up to you. You have the option. However, if you take my personal opinion, I would suggest you to come for the offline counseling. Why? Because this is where you'll be spending four years of your life. So, एक बार आके देखो तो सही. You know, see this area that is being made right now. At the same time, check out the vibe on the Ajinkya D Y Patel campus. See the cafeterias, all of those things. At the same time, experience Pune as a city as well. But then I also know there are so many people in different parts of the country, and traveling for them is not very easy. So you guys can do the online counseling. No stress with that. Let me take some break. Bed jata hai. Thak gaya main. Enough of walking that I've done since the morning. And let me also give you all the important information and clear some of the doubts that you students were asking me about. See, guys, the fees of the program is 18 lakh rupees for four years, but this does not include your hostel fees. I've already taken a tour of the hostel inside the campus. You can check it up in my campus tour video. At the same time, you students have the flexibility of staying outside also anywhere in Pune. However, I would suggest you to please stay if you're staying outside. Please stay near to the campus so that you can visit the campus easily and experience the whole campus vibe, the cafeteria, sports arenas, all of those things. Now, guys, as far as the application is concerned and the admission process is concerned, you need to go online and fill the application form. A lot of you students are asking me, "Kavish, there is a discount coupon code? Is there that we can put and we get some redemption or discount in the application fees?" I'm really sorry, guys. There is nothing like that exists. If it were, then I would have given it to you at the very start. But that is not the case. After you fill in the application form online, you need to appear for something called as VSAT, which is their own entrance exam. And after that, you will be called for a personal interview with the leadership team of Vedam School of Technology. Now, last time that I was here on the campus with Nishant, and I had asked you that let me know if you want some interview tips from Nishant. And so many of you people commented that yes, you need some interview tips. Let me give you that. Uh, I had a talk with Nishant, but before I tell you that, also guys, see a lot of you people were being overconfident that just because Vedam School of Technology is a new, you know, school, everybody will get admission. But I hope that bubble has been bursted for you because they have rejected so many students. And very, it's very natural, guys, that it would have happened because see, they are building the first cohort. For them, it is not about the number. Kya 400 bande bande, 500 bande bande. They want to select. Very smart people because if they get the first cohort right, then automatically the second year, third year, fourth year people will automatically come. So that is why, guys, if you are in this process, please take it very seriously. 
in the interview they are trying to judge you on your holistic development they they are looking for overall profile they are going to see your class 10th marks your 12th marks the entrance exam scores everything so make sure when you're in the interview your communication skills are good your logical thinking skills are good problem solving skills are good they're even testing you with guesstimates and things like that that's all the maximum hint that i can give you there's all few things that are surprise for you when you're inside the interview but i hope you take this very very seriously now guys another very important thing is that they are willing to provide you scholarships this is why i'm telling you to please take the admission process very seriously because they are willing to provide up to 100 percent scholarship and right now till now they've given good amount of scholarships to people Specifically for your students who are watching this video right now and are looking to take loans and join other colleges, I would suggest please work hard in their own application process right now itself so that you can get a 60, 70, 80, 50 percent scholarship. Also, yeah, it automatically releases a lot of burdens on your parents and you don't have to look into that whole loan and things like that. So, guys, please try for scholarships. I don't think so. Scholarships will be possible in the latter rounds, like the July round and all that. But till now, if the option exists, please make the use of it. I will genuinely be happy if anyone is this video and has 20%, 30%, 40% of scholarship, I will feel that it's, it's job well done. So I hope this much information is clear to you about the application process, fees, hostel, all of that. Rest all the things also we'll talk about but in a while because I'm going to be taking a tour of what all other things are ready and yet to be ready. So come with me and let's take a tour of that as well. Okay guys, great things have come up on the campus. But it's my duty as a mentor to also show you things that are still work in progress. See guys, the last time that I visited the campus, it was just an idea. Now so many good things have come up. Now I'm taking you to a room which is not fully ready yet. But this is going to be the theatre style of classroom. Guys, they've combined multiple classrooms and this is going to have a seating capacity of more than 120 students. So this is where all the guest lectures, seminars, industry experts that visit the campus, all of it is going to happen here. Like I said guys, right now it's not fully ready yet, but I'm pretty sure by the time you guys join the campus, it's going to be fabulous. See, to be honest, I'm really happy that I am also part of this journey, right? Like last time when Nishant and I were here on the campus, it was just an idea. Um, and you know, they just decided that Vedam School of Technology is going to come up. Um, now that I'm here, I can see things turning from real to reality. I love the counseling room. I love the whole entry reception area. Now I'm going to take you to a room, which to be honest, guys, probably is the reason why Vedam School of Technology is going to be starting. It is the innovation lab. Ta-da! And guys, this room will be the innovation lab. This is going to be divided into three parts. You're going to have the drone dock. You're going to have the AI zone as well as the robo zone. Guys, when I was talking to Piyush, who's one of the co-founders here at Vedam School of Technology, he was so passionate about this particular area because he said, Kavaj, I want students to be building stuff from day one itself. And this is going to be that area. Guys, right now, obviously, it's not ready. But give it some time, like the magic has happened in the reception area, the counseling room, the classrooms. It is also going to happen here. And this is going to be that one area which I'm pretty sure you students would love spending all the time in. Trust me, when the campus is going to be ready, I'm going to come back again and show you the magic. And you know, these videos will always be there for memory to look at from, you know, day zero to day one to day two. Uh, I'm really passionate about this. One honest advice I would like to give you, in case if you're planning to join Vedam School of Technology, guys, please spend maximum of your time in these particular labs because this is that modern infrastructure which majority of the colleges lack. Alright guys, I'm almost towards the end of my second tour here for Vedam School of Technology. Now I know desperately you guys are waiting for my opinion. What do I suggest? Should you join Vedam School of Technology or not? See guys, understand one thing very clearly. I do not have any hidden agenda. This decision of whether you want to join Vedam School of Technology or not completely lies with you and your parents and there are thousands of factors that you will have to consider. The fees that you want to pay, the city that you want to study in, have you cleared the VSAT exam and the interview or not, uh, what are the other colleges you have in hand. All of those things are there that you and your parents have to discuss amongst yourself and decide. However, because you guys are watching my video, I know it's my duty to also tell you what do I believe. Uh, what according to me are the pros and cons. So here's the list and listen to this and watch this very, very carefully. If I have to talk to you about the pros of or why I would join Vedam School of Technology, firstly for me is going to be the fees. Why? Because when I compare it with new age colleges, I feel they're decently priced. 
they are less in comparison to the other new age colleges that have also been opened up in this field which is a definitely a great point now i know you guys will say but no kavash bhaiya other private colleges or old private colleges are doing the fees in 8 lakhs 9 lakhs 10 lakhs to ye to 18 lakhs hai bhai ye to bahut zyada ho gaya definitely agree with that there are some colleges that are doing it in 8 lakhs 9 lakhs as well but guys with the kind of curriculum that you will get at vedam school of technology like you know they are getting people from google from microsoft obviously boss these people come with a cost so considering what they're providing you and money that they're charging i feel it is a decent thing but obviously money is very subjective in nature second reason of why i would choose vedam school of technology is the fact that they are willing to give scholarships guys they are willing to give up to 100% merit scholarship which means as a student you have the complete opportunity of getting a really good scholarship if you work well like i was telling you previously do your exam well clear your interview well you can get a good scholarship 60% 70% 80% and if you do that then you look at your cost so that i believe is a very good reason if i would be watching video like you are doing right now i would try working hard so well that i can get a good scholarship and reduce that burden of my parents of spending huge amount of money on the college fees third reason of why i would choose vedam school of technology is going to be the whole curriculum and the infrastructure see guys i've talked about the curriculum before so i will not be repeating it again but the kind of environment that they are providing you like the innovation lab that is going to be there plus even the jinke diva patel campus you know you have the you have the cafeterias you have the sports arena you have the great greenery outside i feel all of that in pune is great plus you know pune in general is growing like this is become the next tech hub there are so many tech parks are coming around the campus which i feel is really very good so these would be my three reasons or why i would join vedam school of technology now i also have reasons of why i would not join vedam school of technology so listen to that very carefully number one is that it is in its first year that means it is in its inception year which means there is certain amount of risk that is involved there will be some people who would not want to take that risk they would want to go to the path which is well traveled you know colleges that have been offering degree for 40 50 years and you obviously cannot compare it with vedam school of technology because there is going to be the first year so in case if you are one of those obviously that is something that you have to consider i know parents come to me and say that coverage pehla saal hai kaisa hoga see there are few things i myself don't have the answer to obviously i bet uh, you know on nishan because i know him very well or the founders but that is a little bit of a risk and if you are not a risk taker please do not join vedam school of technology second con of joining vedam school of technology is that a lot of people base their college decision on roi on placements on internships and to be honest i do not have any such that See guys someday has to be the first day for everybody there was the first time when i went to college there's the first time some college is starting but i don't have any stats to tell you or show you you would not have seen me talk about 30 lakhs package or 40 lakhs package or 50 lakhs package because i don't want to do anything which i myself are not sure of this is what we are talking about lives being built careers being built and i would not want to start it on a lie see guys one thing that i know of is that founders have been in this education space for quite some time they have good amount of recruiting partners and they will be promising you good things but as far as i am concerned i will tell you that you guys have to work hard i will not say 3 lakh 4 lakh 5 lakh package because if you get more then you will blame me ke cover teri video mein to jhoot bola tha i will also not say 30 40 lakh rupees package because if you don't get that then you will blame me so that is a little bit of risk that you will be taking in terms of roi on my opinion i can say that if you work hard you will be sorted take you will be taken care of when it comes to placement so as yes, guys those were my three pros and two cons uh, i know it's very subjective in nature so again i don't want you to you know it's completely please use your own brain and do your own research but this according to me was what my personal opinion was guys thank you so much for watching this video till the very end i'm glad that you're liking this content a lot and sharing it amongst your friends if you have any doubts question queries regarding vedam school of technology make sure you comment below and i'll be more than happy to reply or make another video see whenever i'm getting a chance to come to pune i am coming to the campus and visiting and showcasing you the work in progress and you know the whole making of vedam school of technology which i'm really proud of as well at the same time guys all the details about vedam school of technology i put in the description so make sure you check it up do not forget to share it amongst your friends follow me on instagram i'll see you always in another video take care guys bye